in that first year, they noticed at least a $1.3 million savings over the cost of buying new packaging. And that includes shipping all this stuff back. That includes the labor. So there's significant savings. A lot of these plastics are petroleum-based. As goes the price of petroleum, also goes the price of new production. All right, so it's a lot cheaper to reuse these things where possible. So the reduction first, if you can't reduce it, then the reuse. And that's where Subaru's noticed a lot of gains is in reusing the stuff that they already have. This particular styrofoam form gets marked every time it's sent to Japan and back. Okay, this form here has been back and forth now, it looks like seven times. Originally when the program was set up, we expected maybe we would get five out of them. And as you can see, the part is still, or the styrofoam form is still in very good shape and it's continuing to save money for the company. Before we did this type of project, we actually had to take all this material, stack it up, and ship it somewhere here in the United States to be ground up, made into like beanbag chairs, and things that we didn't really know where the final product would end up. So this has been a very successful system for us here in the United States.